Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. We are back at part two of the gameplay review for Pixagon, where we're going to go ahead and talk about the second game release. This is the game that was released about a week ago called The Kuma Fruit Fields. Basically, this is more of a crafting style game. It does have some dangers. This is probably my favorite of the two so far that, that's on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump in there in a second. But I wanted to show you that at the, at the time of this recording, they still have both versions of the, the game itself available if you're interested in it. They have the collector's edition and then they also have the, the regular box version. The collector's edition comes with some extra stickers and some, some extra things along with it. Um, I just went ahead and bought the, the standard version, just the box game. Went ahead and opened it up and we can go ahead and take a look at it. I, full transparency, I have been playing it a little bit just to try and get used to it, just to see uh, what the game is all about. Um, so it, it's an interesting game. Like I said, it's probably my so far out of the very little I've played it. And I, again, full transparency, I haven't played hours and hours of it. I played a little bit just to get familiar with it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump into play now. Again, we'll have a link down in the description below to the Pixie Gun uh, website so you can go ahead and check it out. Um, this is where we were last time. We'll go ahead and do the same thing that we did before. Like I said before, I like to zoom in. Wish we could go ahead and do a, a one more zoom in so I could just see the screen. Uh, but we won't talk more about that. Um, let's actually just talk about the game itself. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on enter. So it takes me back to the main screen. Uh, it allows me to go through the different menus. Just a reminder, if you didn't see my first one, you can't use the mouse at all in here. You have to use the different keys, the, the W, A, S, D for different directions. The space bar is going to be X and the shift key is going to be O. Uh, e is going to be trigger right. Q is trigger left, uh, and if you hold down shift, it actually lets you sprint. I found that out when I was playing this game. Um, when you first come to this, you're going to have to go ahead and create an account, which I've already done. And then to switch to games, you go ahead here to the games menu, hit the space bar, and it's going to take you to the different uh, cartridges that you have. Um, so if you have just one, you only see one here, or it'll show you the one, and then it'll show you the second one and have a lock screen over it, so you can't actually switch it. Uh, but thankfully I have both, so we'll go ahead and switch the cartridges. And now you can see right here that, that Kuma Fruit Fields is now the, the game that's in the within it now. So we'll go ahead and click right and click on this with a space bar. And then we're going to go ahead and jump in game. This is a gathering game so far from what I've seen of it. Um, I've gone ahead and I've already created an account, so we'll go ahead and click in. And I apologize for clicking my space bar so much. Uh, it's just part of the game, and unfortunately my space is a little wonky so you're going to hear it clicking in the background um, so we're, what you do is you go ahead around um, all these little placards or these signs is where you can put things um, I haven't figured out what these things are for yet but the main thing you want to do when you first get in the game is run around and look for these little flower buds that you see right here and if you click the E button which is the right trigger it's going to pop them up and you can go ahead and collect those and you just run around and collect them just for a little bit uh, and what's going to happen is once you get enough of these, you can go to this guy who's the store owner, click on the, the right trigger, and you'll be able to take a look at all the goods that he has, which is different seeds, uh, different items themselves, and then different things that you can use around, like a chest. Uh, there's a work workable recipe. Um, oh, I'm sorry work table <laughs> recipe, which is going to allow you to make different recipes. Uh, you got houses. I already created the bonfire. Um, if you hit the, the, the L or the left trigger, um, and I say, should say Q in the left trigger, you can go ahead and sell different items that you already have in your um, inventory. And that'll allow you to get these little, little uh, things up here. That, that's basically the money in game. Uh, and you go ahead and if you just click on down, it gets to the full menu, click spacebar and it sells it all. Um, what I'm saving up for is I'm trying to get a house here um, because I did discover that at nighttime, there are monsters that come around. They stay away from the lit areas, um, but I'm assuming at night they're going to uh, stay out of houses also. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to these for now. Um, so I'm going to wait so I can go ahead and save up enough, which is 600 for this house. So let's run around a little bit more. So the goal of coming out of this uh, is to be able to buy a house. You see it's starting to get dark here. If I go ahead and click on O, which is the shift key, 
what happens is it goes through daily cycles. Um, and, and once it gets super dark, you'll see I have the bonfire here, which I can cook. I've already planted a bamboo and we got a couple other things here. Um, and then I go through here. Uh, what's going to probably come up here is there's probably going to, it's like a zombie bunny it kind of looks like. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to see one now. I don't know if it's dark enough quite yet. It is getting pretty dark. So I apologize if you're watching this game on YouTube right now. I apologize for the darkness. Let's get back over to the bonfire. Um, the cycle is basically you can still go around and you can still collect things and things are still going to grow. Um, but what's going to happen is uh, you just kind of have to wait it out. Or if if you see these like zombie bunnies that are come around, you just hop on top of them and uh, you you can kill them. Last time I saw one, it took two hops. Um, so what you're, you're essentially going to go through here is you're going to try and gather as much stuff as you can uh, and then build up from there. So it's like I said, it's more of a crafting game, which which I tend to enjoy. I like crafting games. I'm just collecting a mushroom here. I'm trying to see if I can find one of these uh, zombie rabbits for you, just so, so I can show you. So far, it's the only thing I've seen that uh, attacks you. <laughs> there you go. You see one. It's really hard to see. You see it's right there. I'm sure you can see it chasing me. I'm going to jump on it. Oh, I missed it. All right, I jumped on it once. It's still alive. Jump on it again, and it's gone. Now we got a second one. And you try and just take them out. Uh, it shows that 51 up, so I'm not sure what that, that goes to, but we're going to run back over here to my bonfire, uh, collect a few more of these, and what I'd like to do, like I said, my goal coming out of this is to go ahead and do a house. Basically, when you buy different things um, from the store, you go with these placards that you see along here, and you click on down. It allows you to plant different seeds in this one. Hit O to go ahead and get out of it. Or if you go on some of these other ones, like I can go ahead and place another bonfire. What happens if I place that bonfire? Uh, and you can see that you can go ahead and do that, and it creates some more bonfires in the area. Um, and it just creates light, which keeps those zombie bunnies away, which is good. And then, like I said, you can go ahead and let me just get out of these. And you can go ahead and you can cook on these. As you can see, the day is over. But I'm trying to click on this so I can show you. Um, you got different juices here. You can go ahead and I, I don't have the, all the materials yet to go ahead and, and use that yet. Oops. And what I, what I keep doing by accident is I keep on clicking escape, uh, which takes you back to the, the teeny tiny version of the, the game, which is really hard to see. Like I said, hopefully, hopefully they give us the option to pull that out. So let's go back here um, and go ahead and click on this guy. Sometimes it it's, doesn't click as well as you'd hope it would. There we go. Um, let's see. Let's sell a few things. So I go ahead and click Q, which is the left trigger. And we're going to go through and sell all the stuff that I have, oops, all the stuff I've collected. And hopefully we get up to 600. If we don't, then I'll go ahead and run through uh, and fast forward on the video for you. It looks like we are not quite there yet. So we're going to pause the video because I want to show you the house and I want to show you, show you putting me putting the house down. So let's gather a few more things and I'll be right back. All right, I am back. We should have enough now. So let's go back over here, click on him, uh, sell a few more things so we can go ahead and have enough to get this house. There we go, we have over 600. So we'll click L again. I'm gonna go with the blue house because blue is my color, my favorite color. So we went ahead and bought that. Now we're gonna exit out of here uh, and we'll run down this way. I'm not sure, we're gonna go through a few of these because I'm not sure which one is the house yet. I think those are all bonfires. There's a berries workbench, red house. Ah, I guess I need to get multiple houses. That's interesting. Oh, I guess I need some bamboo. If you look in the top left there, right up here, it looks like I need to both get the the recipe which I got plus a number of these other things so I can go ahead and actually build it. So I won't actually be able to build it as part of this video. It's part of the construction. It's part of the collecting. It's it's um, surprisingly simple yet surprisingly uh, addictive. <laughs> so this, like I said, um, what are my thoughts of this game compared to 
uh, the other one that I reviewed last week. Uh, I think this one's a whole lot more addicting, <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, than than the last one. Um, just because every time you think you're going to, it just keeps leading on to the next thing. You can build different things. You can go ahead and fight against different monsters. Um, you can just go ahead and just continue to build different things. And I can go ahead, once I get enough and cook things, I can build buildings. At nighttime, you got, oh, I did it again. Um, at nighttime, you got to fight different monsters. Uh, so far, I've just seen the zombie monster, um, which is interesting enough. Um, and then it, it's, it, like I said, it's just kind of addicting. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to gather uh, bamboo uh, seeds so I can go ahead and plant some more bamboo um, and build out what I'm, I'm looking to build out. What are some of the negatives? I, I, I don't think I necessarily have any negatives towards this game itself my only negatives that i have is is towards um the overall platform again it's just two simple things uh the controllers can be a little wonky at times i wish they're i wish you could kind of adjust them a little bit um and then in addition to that um let me go ahead in addition to that uh i wish you could zoom in just a little bit further because the zooming uh or it, it was an escape to go ahead and click out of the zooming. Because um, like I said before, I, I keep zooming out by accident uh, just because I, I click on that. Um, but that's the game. Uh, it's $5. It's it's with definitely within budget uh, for, for most people. Um, oh, I did it again. See, so that's my struggle that I have with it. Um, now we got the zombie bunnies coming back out. Uh, so it's definitely within budget for most, if not all, people uh, that are playing play-to-earn games. Um, so it's definitely worth checking out. Go ahead down in the comments below. Uh, let me know uh, what your thoughts, if you've tried any of these games, if you have, what your thoughts are. Uh, as you can see, I'm playing some bamboo here, and you can actually see them digging, which is kind of neat to see. <laughs> it's funny to see. Um, so let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are of the game. Uh, have you tested them out? Are you planning to test them out? Do you have any questions? Uh, do you like these reviews on Pixel Art Games? Um, I, I like these because they're, they're skill based, they're strategy based. Um, they're just they're fun uh, types of games to, to go ahead and check out. Um, so I hope you all have a great day. I'm going to continue to harvest and harvest and try and build this house. Uh, slightly addicting. Um, so I hope you all have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.